Hello guys, this is Elias and I am here with a video dedicated to the vintage lighting lovers. So I present you here my last old big light which is quite simple as you can see. It has only some colors and some gobos plus a shutter. So <laughs> as you can see Bob it didn't blow up in the first plug-in so and actually now it's in plug it's under current and low voltage so there is no problem at all okay you can see a lot of cables but don't it's quite simple actually it has only two circuits uh, three no maybe if I can say three circuits it's one that gives power to the lamp and um, the second gives power to the transformer here which is 18 volts and this transformer gives power, gives voltage to these two relays so this relay is for the lamp it cuts also the phase and the neutral and this relay it's for the, for the extra fans so the... ok where is it? Ah, ok the relay, the lamp relay uh, takes power from this actually ok I'm confused with the camera also <laughs> I am looking through the camera now from this uh, thermo switch which uh, now it's on and it it go, it's is getting also through here this micro switch and from a small manual switch you can see it maybe I don't know somewhere there it's a manual switch that I have bought so I can turn the lamp on and off manually <laughs> because there is no DMX function to do that so actually, ok now the, la the switch is off so if I press this, which is for safety you can hear the relay and of course this big and old starter that uh, I have installed here ok this fixture used this starter which, which is exactly the same brand now ok the sticker with the characteristics is somewhere in that chaos but I am not able to find it and this starter is uh, it can be used for lamps from 250 volts watts until 1200 so but I kept this because I can use it in smaller uh, fixtures so I preferred to use this one this one belonged to my old my two first big lights the Euroscan HTI 400 <coughs> Ok, I have to say that I haven't tried uh, this uh, starter yet, I have, I have installed also the, the lamp holder here uh, but I haven't put also on the lamp because I have not prepared yet the, the covers and actually here is the lamps the MSR1200 and the MSD that I will use now for now, because I am thinking of installing an, an MSR400 later so, two days ago I prepared also the mirror and here it is, but I need to, to replace it also because it's pretty dirty and scratched here is the board it's not, not DMX as I told you here I, I never understood that why they wanted to use two male uh, adapters here and not a female and male XLR I don't know why they did they used it and uh, this is the the selector okay it's not visible this is the selector uh, it has only when I put it on 77 it has a demo that it can work by itself and uh, okay with the console that I have I cannot control my fixture separately I can control on only all together so okay but it works <laughs> I still need to try it with lamp I am very anxious to see its optical system how it will be the beam how open will be the beam but happily it works and I have to try also this thermo switch I was able to to make it work with a hair dryer it worked but I don't know if the lamp will be enough to to make it work because okay of course the temperature of an MSR it's much more higher I suppose than the MSD 
So here it is. <laughs> Greetings to all to you guys and thank you for participating into this group. It's a pleasure to see your posts and your knowledge. And uh, okay, we will be in touch. Bye bye.